and welcome to Marcella's Purse. Today I will be showing you how I made this tote bag. As you see it has a small handle and I made it by using a French seam technique. And this produced a bag that has a very wide bottom. And it's simple, I used a, a cotton, a thick linen like cotton. And the strip here is actually calico. So I hope you like it. I found it quite a novelty. It is not my own creation. Uh, it, it showed in my feed in my YouTube channel. And it's actually, I suppose it is a Chinese channel. Uh, and I watched it and I thought, oh, I can make this and share it with you. I hope you like it. Keep watching. I have here my two pieces for the for the bag and the two pieces that would be the handle piece. And I'm going to take one of the pieces of the main fabric and I will take what would be the top, the, the width that measures 17 inches. This will be my top and I'm taking one of these pieces for the handles I'm using I'm putting whatever is um, the right side for you the right side of the fabric touching the right side of this main fabric and uh, I shall pin this in place there and I shall fold this in half to find the middle point just making sure that all the edges are matching I'm pressing with my fingers and I shall take another pin there's my middle point and using a ruler I will measure from this middle point to the left I shall measure two and a half inches there and two and a half inches to the right so this this gap this space here will be five inches in total so two and a half and two and a half then uh, I am going to go to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch along here But I will stitch, I shall measure from the top in three quarters of an inch. So my seam allowance will be three quarters of an inch. Okay, it seems a bit excessive, but you will see at the end. Okay, and here is the the cap that we left. So in the same way, I did the second uh, part of the of the bag. So now I am going to fold this edge towards the inside, or fold it down, and I will iron it flat. And here in the opening, I will just follow the fold. I will do the same in both. Now that I have folded both here and there, I am going to fold this piece. So there's the fold I just did. And we'll put it down and I can see the stitch in there, so I am going to fold this halfway just to where the stitching is and then I am going to fold it again so if, so that you can see better. That's my, my seam, the stitching, so I'm folding this once just to the stitching and then again and I will do a long and I will iron it and I will do the same in both pieces so this is what we have now 
we have this flap and this one folded twice and uh, I am going to pull the fabric like this right can you see what I am doing this one folded in half goes down there and I put the rest of this fabric towards the right and I will go to the sewing machine and I will stitch along here from there here uh, close to to this fold keeping these two on the side so this is what we have we have this seam there and if you look at the back there it is and we have of course these two pieces still there so I am going to put the wrong sides together the wrong sides and making sure that here these seams are touching joining all the edges making sure everything is well in line and I am going to sew along here at the bottom and up there we will be seeing the the raw edges but we're doing a French seam so it will be okay at the end so I will be sewing quite close to the edge quite close and I will be back to show you so as you see I have raw edges everywhere now, the idea is to, close, to sew quite close to the edge, but because my fabric frays, I left about an eighth of an inch of seam allowance. Mm. I will now turn uh, this, the wrong side out. We still have this here. and I am going to iron this as flat as possible making sure that the corners come out and I will go and sew along here I will put the fabric like this and I will stitch from the edge as far as necessary so that when I I stitch along I will be encasing the raw edge so we will be hiding that there like so okay so think of uh, just double check how big is your seam allowance so this stitching has to be a little bit bigger than that so that the raw edges are completely enclosed inside We have now all the raw edges nicely hidden so this is what it looks like and if I open to see the, the right side you will see that the edges are hidden. So now I am going to put this flat and I will fold the bottom up about 4 inches. And there I shall put a pin on this side I will take another pin and secure the the opposite side and um, I will sew, I will go to the sewing machine and I will stitch from there all the way down and, and the same here from that edge down. This will create a fold like this. 
So this is what we have. Don't forget to secure the stitches here and there, reverse the stitch. So now I am going to take the top and I shall move this bulk here to one side and I am going to fold this down halfway and then over so that we touch that fabric. To put a pin, we will do that all around. So we fold this halfway, and you will see that we will be encasing this row edge here. This fold, can you see what I am doing? So this is still there, fold sort of halfway, and then again until we meet this this fold here and I shall pin around all the way and this is where this is uh, not attached so we just continue doing the same put this flat on your table so you can keep the right uh, size the right fold there like so so we're folding in the same way all around also uh, earlier when we stitch and, and we stop here on this side on this side it is important that you secure the stitches as well because when we hold our bag this is going to have a lot of uh, stress there so and we want it well secured so I'll carry on pinning. This is what we have. So this will be one handle and this is the other one. So I will simply go to the sewing machine and I will start stitching here next to this fold along all the way around. And here it is. Stitched all around and this makes the handle and this is the other handle. So I will turn it the right side out. So our lovely handles and this boxy bottom here. Now this um, fold here that we did these stitches is just optional if you prefer just just don't do it but I did want to to have one like this for myself and I just tied on the fold here for you to see nice and neat and one thing that I like is that if you fold the back like, like so and you bring the bottom up you can put this end inside and it's nicely uh, folded like a little pouch like so nice now if for whatever reason you don't want to have this kind of a uh, open bottom you can have the normal a boxy bottom. If I take this um, other bag that I'm making to use again as an example, if you just want to have a normal boxy bottom, you hold your bag with the right side out, so this is the right side of the fabric, and bring the corners the seam here of the bottom of the bag you make this seam meet the side seam whenever we make boxy bottoms in our tote bags we normally work on with the wrong side of the fabric but this time we're using the right side 
So if I take a pin and a ruler, with my fingers I am making sure that both seams are touching, or you can look inside of course. Okay. And decide how wide you want the bottom to be. I want mine to be 4 inches. So I am placing the ruler like so. So that because I want it 4 inches, obviously the number 2 has to be in the middle where the seam is. And I'm going to do a mark. I shall put the pin. And I will sew across here. And we're back, that's my stitching. And we just cut the excess. Again, I will cut it quite close to the seam. Remember, what is working on the right side of the fabric. So now, to continue with the French seam uh, scheme, we're going to bring this towards the wrong side of the bag, so the inside. And again, we're going to encase that seam. We're going to sew along here. So this is the wrong side, the inside of the bag. And I stitched along and I enclosed the raw edge. I did the same on the other side so I can show you. So we don't have any seams exposed, any edges exposed, I should say, any edges. And we have a bottom base for the bag. So if you're using a French seam, a technique that would be a good way to make a, a bottom, a square flat bottom for your bag. Right? So I hope you have enjoyed this. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will be reading your comments as usual. I do like receiving them. And let me know what you think of it. And I will see you soon. Ah, and don't forget to have a look at my other channel. There's some cooking and some vlogs, some family life there if you're curious or you have nothing more to do. <laughs> so, thank you very much for being here once again. See you soon. Bye.